So hello and welcome to this uh, week's platform meeting, this time with reduced staff, uh, but we will be back uh, in full formation next week again. Um, we have a few items on our roadmap, so let's uh, have a look at that. I'm going to post this to this Jumo channel. There you go. All right, um, so I have one item uh, currently in the roundtable notes, uh, roundtable and notes section uh, that I would like to talk to you about. Uh, it's buddy up and the next steps for that. Uh, so first, we have some good news. Uh, buddy up is, uh, was selected to be uh, pre-installed on all um, upcoming releases. Uh, so it's going to be part of the OS moving forward. Actually, we have to figure out exactly how that's going to work. Um, but, but the good news is it's going to be pre-installed, so users that are not uh, expected to download it from the App Store anymore. Um, and we are not exactly sure which, is, which one is going to be the next release, but this is going to be for sure in the 2.5 release uh, that's coming up. So this is great news for us, because that's what we've been working toward uh, since the very beginning of this project. Oh. And there's Roland. Hello, Roland. Hello, hello. Have you started already? Sorry for being late. No worries. Uh, yeah, we are. Uh, we have a reduced staff uh, today. Um, but uh, I was just saying, Roland, that uh, Buddy App has been selected as uh, one of the pre-installed apps uh, moving forward. Um, so in the two, uh, Firefox OS 2.5 release, uh, Buddy App will be pre-installed. Well, thank you very much. Um, right, yeah, we're very happy about that. Uh, it was a lot of work, uh, but being pre-installed is really validation for all of that work. I think a lot of people saw in Whistler how much of a, how, how great of an experience it actually is, how engaging it is to be able to just start the app, ask a question without having to sign up or anything, get notifications as soon as people reply to you. All of that, like the whole combination is just a great experience and um, way above and beyond what currently is being offered on Firefox OS. So this is going to be a huge step towards that user-centered uh, approach that uh, Chris Beard was talking about uh, on stage and with there. Yeah, all in all, I'm Does this very mean you get a budget for desktop as well and continued Firefox OS tweaks and improvements? I really hope so, because that's what we actually want to talk about now, uh, the next steps. Uh, so, so far we had Anthony as uh, the developer of the uh, Buddy Up app, uh, but he is leaving Mozilla and he won't be able to work on Buddy Up um, from now on, uh, which means that uh, it's actually falling on us uh, to continue to work there. Um, we already know that we want to do some limited work for Buddy Up, uh, so there we have lots of user stories, but we don't want to actually engage with those just yet. Uh, before we know how the platform is going to move forward and whether we actually want to have a unified app that also works on uh, Firefox OS. However, there is one thing that we need to have um, in, in Buddy App as soon as possible, and that's localization. Uh, Anthony was going to work on that, actually, uh, but uh, we opted in favor of um, some critical bug fixes because we knew that Buddy App would be shipped uh, in the Fox, uh, Fox Footing program. Uh, and it's okay for the Fox Footing program because every participant of that program speaks English as well. Uh, it's just a requirement of that program. But uh, other users do not. And uh, so the next step for us is now to offer um, or make localization part of Buddy App. Uh, we have all the UX ready for that already. We have the um, user stories ready for that. Um, but a little bit unexpectedly, we now have to really prioritize that. Um, so moving forward this quarter, I would suggest that as one of our roadmap items to actually get that done. Um, and I don't think it's interfering with any roadmap items at the moment. Uh, but yeah, that's my suggestion. So what do you guys think? Sounds good so far. Like I said uh, in our meeting earlier, Kadir, I have some things I want to talk to other people about, but um, potentially giving more priority to. But for now, uh, those things are just up in the air. 
Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. So we have a lot of great things that we want to do for Q3, but none of those are actually ready at the moment to be deployed. Mm. Um, and this is something on the buddy upside that that's all clearly defined already with acceptance criteria, user stories, yeah. and UX. Yeah, I think it's important, especially since BuddyUp is such a good tool, but the places that Firefox OS is actually being used is uh, not necessarily English-speaking places, so it's, uh, I, think, I think it's a good thing to do right now. Yeah, exactly. We actually haven't released Firefox OS in any English-speaking place, so Elton is mm -hmm. really important for us. Yeah. yeah. So, Roland, you were, uh, you were going to say something, sorry, cut you off there. No, no, I'm just agreeing. I'm just agreeing. Okay. All right, very cool then. Um, so that's cool. Um, Mike, uh, Anthony is going to reach out to you and Rehan about the transition. Um, so what I thought would be good is maybe have one release that is driven uh, by Sumo Dev to make sure that we can actually release an update to the marketplace. Um, there isn't anything that we would need to develop for this. Uh, it would just be like the release that would be driven by us. And okay. Anthony wanted to reach out to you guys to, to see like if there is anything that he needs to provide up front, um, like anything that's, that's missing. Um, okay. And we should get that from him as soon as possible because uh, I think July 17th is his last day at Mozilla. Um, so and after that, it's going to be very hard to get a hold of him. Uh, but until then, he has uh, agreed to be available for us. Um, so maybe, uh, Mike, on Monday we can talk about the next steps that we want to take as Sumo Dev here. Okay. Sounds good. Cool. All right. Um, yeah, anyway, so that that's uh, one very happy news that also means some work for us. Uh, but it's yeah, going to make... Work. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's going to... Uh, a lot of people will benefit from this uh, once it's pre-installed. Um, I think we had one million shipments of Firefox OS last year, so that, this, that's really that's really big. Um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. All right, anything else uh, for roundtable? Anything we want to talk about? If not, we can move on to the roadmap items. And currently, we actually have previous uh, quarters worth of items there. Actually, one. Uh, that's built over into this quarter. Um, so as you remember probably from the last uh, meeting uh, that we had on this, uh, the, we are doing the unified ask a question flow, but it's a bit of a uh, departure from what we had originally planned. Um, um, Mike took it a bit further, actually a lot further with just uh, combining all of it into uh, one app on one page. Um, we weren't actually planning for that, but it looked like a really good uh, direction to take the project to uh, and we knew it would um, probably take a little longer than what we had originally planned, but it seemed worth it. Uh, so now that's the position we are in. It's built a bit over into this quarter, which is okay, because as I said, we don't have any roadmap items currently that are uh, in urgent need of implementation. Um, and, oh, I, I think something was updated here. Uh, yeah, I added links to the bug and to the, the mock-up that I made yesterday. Nice. Uh, awesome. All right. So yeah, that'd be cool. Um, I haven't seen that before. But if you go in there, and let me post this to Pound Shimo as well. Beautiful, Mike. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. So yeah, this looks good. Uh, and I'll have a look at this as well. Um, and uh, feedback is welcome on this one. Uh, so as I said, this is a bit of a deviation from what we had before, so uh, we didn't have uh, a lot of discussion on this. Um, but uh, Mike already provided the mock-up here, so we can actually talk about this, uh, make sure that we have the uh, acceptance criteria that we want, make sure that this is actually what we want to implement. Um, and Mike is already has this in the sprint right now. Um, so, Mike, just to be clear, is this actually going to be finished in this sprint? Well, we call it sprint, but uh, with what's in the sprint uh, today? I suspect we might be able to get to uh, uh, the point where we can start testing this on a limited basis in, on the servers, so we can actually uh, start working with it, but I don't think it, it, it will be ready to replace the old ask question. Mm -hmm. 
Um, and also, uh, one thing that we want to do, actually moving forward, is uh, A-B test this. So we will have the old uh, ask a question flow, and we will have the new ask a question flow side by side. We can then uh, actually send like a portion of our users through the old one and a portion through the new one uh, to see how they differ and in, in what, what respect they actually differ. Um, so I know this is not a traditional A-B test, like we are changing a lot of things uh, at the same time. Um, but this is definitely better than just going into, uh, into it blind, um, not knowing whether we made any difference. So this is going to be a great uh, opportunity to do that regardless. And I'm very looking very much forward to that. Um, so yeah, that, that's the current state of the So, so let me, can I program. recap? So we're going to have it live on staging, and we'll be able to compare it to the production soon. No, we, we will we'll, have it. We'll have it live on production. Oh, OK. Yes. Um, and um, so the way I built it, we can run both the old and the new on the same servers at the same time. Okay. Um, and then we can control which users get which version. Oh, so like a percentage-wise or, or yeah. role-wise? Um, um, yeah, either one. Uh, we'll be using Waffle, which allows us to say, like, uh, all anonymous users get the old one and all logged-in users get the new one, or 25% of the new of signed-in users get the new version, for example. Okay. So I'd like explicitly to ask our, my awesome Thunderbird volunteer, Matt Harris, to look at this when the time comes. Matt, if you, I know we don't watch these videos. <laughs> but if you did, I, I will ping him at that time. Uh, John99 and Alice and all the veterans, I want you to really test this out when we're doing AV testing. And I'll uh, explicitly mention it. Fear 56, Philip, all okay. these people. Thank you. Um, oh, and, and of course, this, this will also be on stage. Um, so okay. we can test it there and make questions without worrying about uh, disrupting yeah. our support. Okay. Yeah, Maybe we can get our champion, forward. our volunteers, uh, the select group of volunteers have access to it only initially. I don't know, can you do that? I don't know. Just think out loud. Uh, yeah, we can do that. Um, or rather, as long as they are a group on Sumo, we can give access to just one group. Uh, yeah, I, I think testing on staging is probably good and to keep it uh, like, like public there. Uh, and once we have it on production, we actually can't, like, we have to make it public to the general public because we don't want to ask questions as um, contributors or, sorry, as testers on production. Um, right. I, I mean, it's okay to, uh, to, to do that for a bit, but actually what, we, what I would love to do is have the A-B test, uh, like the, the new one run together with the old one and just uh, like send 50% to the new one and 50% to the old one. Or just or start the like... Yeah, Whatever we can start. Firefox does. Yeah, um, um, I, I'm imagining that we do like a slow rollout of this, um, like how Firefox does releases. So if there are any problems, we can spot them early before it affects too many people. Right. Yes. Yeah, okay. And simultaneously, we'll have stage, where we, which we can use as our, as our sort of testing ground. Okay, I get it. Exactly. Thank you. All right. Okay. Uh, so that's what we have on the roadmap right now. Uh, I know that there are a lot of other projects that we want to put on a roadmap, um, and uh, I, I'm hoping that we will have project plans for all of these by next week. Uh, so I would like to run you through those then uh, with the rest of the team uh, in the meeting as well. Um, but for now, for the first week of this quarter, this is what we're working on. All right. So any questions about that? Comments? Anything? That. We move forward uh, to specific bug discussions, um, and there is nothing there at the moment. Is there anything last minute that anybody would like to bring up? Because if not, then that's the meeting. Yay. All right. Three, two, one, nothing. Okay, All I right. won't be here the next two or three Thursdays, but not that I play an important role in this meeting. Oh, uh, you'll be in France, right? Yes, I won't be here for the next three Thursdays. All okay. right. Uh, have, have fun traveling, friends. Um, and we will see you again in two or three or four weeks, <laughs> Roland. And um, uh, thankfully, you have Kadir.
the captain of the ship, the co-captain with Mike. So we good. <laughs> all right. Uh, so yeah, thanks everyone, and uh, hopefully see you, see all of you next week together with the rest of the team. And Roland, have fun, and take care. Ciao. Bye bye everyone. Bye. bye.